Hey guys, it's Molly and I am back. Um, it has been a long while since I've posted, but I have some updates for you guys and let's just get started with it. So, last time you saw me, I was in Massachusetts, which was almost a year ago now that I left Massachusetts. Um, AJ and I ended up not working out and so I decided to move back home with my horses and my dogs. Um, throughout being back home, I've been to not one, but two, but three different barns. Two of them, uh, it was just a barn change of the barn owner moved, and that's where I'm currently at. Um, the first one was just an emergency place to get my horses. I had a week, <laughs> so that was the big news. Um, so I ha still have Maggie, Bandit, and Deuce, and they are at a boarding barn here in Ohio now. Um, health-wise, I have gotten some new diagnoses, new doctors, and we're definitely figuring out things health-wise for me a lot better, and so that's good. Sorry if you hear dogs in the background. Um, I started showing dogs quite more often. Um, it's something that I gave up when I moved to Massachusetts and I'm so glad I got it back. Um, Bishop has been doing really well and so has Ginger and so has my new dog, Riker. So um, I will do an all big intro video on him later. But yes, I have not one, not two, but three new dogs in the past year. And I will introduce to you to all of three of those in different videos. Um, short terms, I have Duke, which is a cattle dog German Shepherd mix, who I got. Um, shortly after I got Duke, I got Otis, who is a Catahoula, from the Humane Society that I was currently working at when I got him. I no longer work there. And then I have Riker, which is my Minpin puppy that will be my show dog. So that is definitely great news. Um, on top of that, I also lost a member of my pack this year, uh, Buster. He died back in June. That was very devastating for me, and I'm still definitely getting through it. Um, so... Yeah, that was heartbreaking. And I'm processing, and I know he lived a great life, and so, and I gave him the best that I could, and it, it, it just really kills me to lose him. He was just such a fundamental dog within my dog career. He started everything when it came to me loving showing dogs. So that is definitely something that I'm just trying to process right now. Um, I hope to be making some new videos here soon. A new intro, of course, because everything has changed. Um, I might do just a simple intro because more things are going to be changing here in the next few months. And I don't want to have to make one intro and then make another intro. So I might just make a simple intro that is just for my channel and not have everyone be introduced within my channel. So stay tuned for that. Um, what else? Do, 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 do. Um, I had Deuce up for sale. Then I took him back down off of sale. I decided to keep him. Um, he got leased out this summer by a young boy. Um, who I have been friends with the family for a long time. So that was definitely a great thing for him. And they did awesome together this year. And now he's back with me. And he will probably go back with this boy next summer. As long as well as Maggie will be leased out by him. But he she will stay with me for the summer. Um, another exciting thing is I am getting to continue... The Maggie Breeding se Series, 
Maggie is bred, as you will see if you have seen my TikToks. She is bred. She is heavily pregnant right now. And so um, I'm going to backtrack the best I can and put up the Maggie breeding series videos as well. And so, yeah, so stay tuned for that. Um, anything you guys want to see, just let me know, and let's finish out 2021, and hopefully have a great 2022. See you guys!